Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and today I'm going to show you how you can make this poncho in the easiest way using stitches that I have taught you in previous videos. So today we are going to use that what we learned in this video. Don't worry, I will give you the step by step and all my secrets and tips so you can make it in the easiest way. Okay, I will make it in a standard size combining these two colors. Remember that before we start, I invite all of you to subscribe. It's very important to me and remember that it's for free. But well, let's don't lose more time and let's start. Well, for this poncho in a standard size for an arrow, I'm going to use 400 grams of this uh, yarn that it's medium, you see, and I will use 200 grams in each color. I will use a pair of needles of number five and a half and also I'm going to use a hook in number four. Remember that if you want to use the same materials that I use in all my videos, here I will share all the information where you can buy it. Remember that if you want to buy and use the same materials that I use in all my videos, you can visit my online store www.lauracepeda.es Okay. Once that we choose the color that we want to start, well, we are going to take one thread and our needles and we are going to start casting on. Remember that this is the way that I cast on the stitches. I know that there are a lot, but to me, this is the easiest. And with this technique, you won't waste any material. Well, like this, in a standard size for an arrow, we are going to cast on 40 stitches. Well, once that we have the 40 stitches, well, we are going to need all the stitches. Remember that in the first row, we will also need the first stitch that we cast on. But uh, sometimes we don't use it. But in this case, we are going to knit it and we will make one row like this. And when we finish to make the row, we are going to come back with the same stitch. We will come back knitting, okay? Well, look, I go and I came back with the same stitch. I need both rows. Well, now you are going to use your markers. From you start, from here to here, we are going to count 10 stitches and then we will use the marker. Because from here to here, we are going to need, we are going to come back and we are going to go back and we will leave these stitches in hold. Well, uh, we are going to leave these stitches in hold because we are going to create the a neck right there. So well, we are going to pass our first stitch and we will continue knitting until we arrive to that stitches that we leave in hold. Okay? Okay, look at here. I arrived to the marker, so now I'm going to turn. I'm going to leave these stitches in hold. So I'm going to turn my project and here I am, I am again. I'm going to pass the first stitch and I'm going to continue knitting. So we will finish this row and see you at the end to teach you what's next, okay? To teach you how we are going to start the next row. As you could see here, we are going to reduce a little bit and this will be the neck and the rest will be the punch the body of the punch, okay? But we'll see you at the end of this row. Also the sequence we will go like this. Now in this row we are going to need all the stitches, so in this row we will go and need also the stitches that we leave in hold. Then the next time we will come back and when we came back we are only going to need the 30 stitches and we leave the last 10 stitches in hold. So once we will go and come back with the 40 stitches and the next time we will only need until the 30 stitches. So in this case, what it goes next is that we are going to need the 40 stitches completely and then we will come back and when we are about to start the next row, we are only going to need the 30, 30 stitches, okay? But we'll see you there. Well, look, here I finished the row and as you could see, I have uh, here, one, two, three series. 
So now according to the sequence, now, now I'm going to only need uh, the 30 stitches and I'm going to leave the last 10 in hold. And then in the next row, I'm going to change color. So well remember that this will be the last row with this color and in the next we change. Well, I finished the row that I was making, remember? But now I will finish the series. Make sure that before you finish, you count the 10 stitches that we leave in hold, okay? So, well, we will finish the series with the same color and then we'll change, okay? Sorry if you confuse and if you already changed color. But it's better that we finish the, the series. So now we will finish the series like this. Remember that we already leave the, la the last 10 stitches in hold. So now we will go back with the 30 stitches and we will knit. Okay, so now at the end of this row, we are going to change color. It is important that we don't cut this uh, pink thread. We are just going to add it, made in, making a knot at the end. Okay, we are not going to cut. Well, we are just going to make a knot right here when we are about to start the row. And now we will take the thread like this. You see, we are going to leave behind the pink thread and like we are allowed to start a new row with a new color we are going to knit the first stitch and we will continue knitting well so here I am and it is important that you notice that we are where we are going to knit all our stitches complete and where not this is an important sign to know that we need 30 stitches in the last row because we have this knot here you can see it so this means that in the next row we are going to need the 40 complete. So now we are going to continue uh, making the 40 stitches because according to the sign that we have, we only need 30 in the last row. So now with the new color we are going to need all of them. And look here, in the next row we are going to change a little bit. We are going to come back knitting this first 10 uh, stitches because remember that here is, will, is where the neck will be and then to the rest we are going to continue but now we are going to pour the rest of the stitches, 30 uh, stitches so here we are going to pour well so look I already needed the 10 first uh, stitches and then I'm going to continue making pour in the next uh, stitches remember that the pour uh, stitch is like this so see you at the end of this row. We are going to continue making pour. Well, I finished with the pour stitch row and now I'm going to continue knitting. Okay, I'm going to, like I made this row complete with the stitches complete, I'm going to continue and until I leave 10 the stitches before I will stop there. Okay, so in this row I'm going to knit well, we are making this, making one row of four and one row knitting. This is the jersey stitch. So we are going to continue until here and then I will stop. So we will have two series like this in this color and then again I'm going to change color. So the pink part will be only making a knitting. Okay, we will only knit on the, in all the rows but then when we use this color we are going to make the jersey stitch well as you see I complete two series in each color remember that when we use the black color we are going to make the jersey stitch like this making one row in four and one knitting and it will look like this and this is the rows that we only knit and we keep a keep it in hold the 10 stitches and like I told you, okay, as you could see, I in every time that I change color, I just change the thread and I didn't cut. And it will look like this, but don't worry, to hide this, we are going to make a last um, row here with a different stitch using our hook. So, well, following the instructions and making and changing the colors, well, we are going to make as many rows as we need until this poncho goes all around our body, okay? If you count it, I made a 19 parts of pink. Well, if you want to make it bigger, well, you are going to make more rows. If you want to make it smaller, well, you are going to uh, make less rows. But remember that this is a standard size for an adult. 
to remember of the pink sections you will have 19 but of the white sections you will have 20 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 16 17 18 19 right so well once we have the rows that we need well we are going to bend off and then we will sew this is how we bend off okay remember that we are going to need two stitches together and we are going to come back with one then two together and come back with one well like this until we finish with all the stitches. See you at the end, okay? Well, look, here I have the last stitch. I'm going to cut a long thread and I'm going to pass it through. I cut this thread long because I want to use it to sew. Okay, so look at this. I'm going to use an embroidery needle to sew and to join both parts of the poncho. this okay so well now that we have our embroidery needle ready we are going to use the same technique that I teach you in all my videos remember that this is the invisible stitch and like this we are not going to create any pleat as you see I take both parts of the chain like this I take the chain complete and I take one stitch from here and one stitch from the other side and you will see that with this we won't create any pleat. I will do it again. This is the secret, okay? And well, when we finish to uh, sew and to join these two parts of the um, of the poncho, <laughs> sorry. Well, we are going to use now our hook, and we are going to continue with the edge of the poncho. I didn't cut the thread because we are going to use the pink color again. So I have the thread here and we'll see you at the end. Well, I want that you see a close-up of the stitch. As you see, we always keep the same number of rows in, in between the white section. So if you counted, we made at the end eight, seven rows of the jersey stitch. And here we always keep the same number of stitches in between each um, section or we are going to make the neck. But well, now to continue, uh, we are going to use our hook to make a nice edge here at the end of the poncho, and we are going to use our hook, and I'm going to use uh, the pink color. If you want, you can use the white, it's up to you. Well, to continue, we are going to make a single crochet row first, and then we will continue with the stitch. So I'm going to and make one single crochet in each space. Please, while you are making this, try not to tie too much, okay? Because we don't want that our poncho lost its shape. And while we are making this, well, we are going to hide all the threads that we have, because remember that each row will change color. But well, for now, let's finish to make the single crochet row. Well, look, to be more specific, I want you to see Remember that these are the threads that we leave every time that we change color. Well, we are going to hide them while we are making this single crochet row. I count and more or less we made five single crochet in each section of color. So you can have an idea how many single crochets we have to make in each section. And this will help us to take care that we don't tie it or poncho too much, okay, because we don't want to lose its shape and of course uh, we don't want to reduce its size. But well for now let's finish this single crochet row. Well at the end of the row we are going to slip one to close like this. We will go up with five chains. One, two, three, four and five. We will skip one, two, three, and here, right here, we are going to make a single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, skip one, two, and in the third, insert your hook and single crochet. 
And this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Well, when we end, we are going to slip one until we arrive to the top of the first wave that we have, like this. So we are going to slip three times to arrive to the middle of the wave. And right here, we will go up, we will make three chains, and in the same stitch, we are going to make five double crochets of three crochets. The first chains that we made will count as one double crochet. Okay, so here we have three, four, and five. Well, at the end, once we have these double crochets, we are going to insert our hook in the first double crochet and we are going to pull and join the last thread with the first one. This is the popcorn stitch. Then we will go up with three chains and we are going to make a single crochet at the top of the next wave. Again, three chains and we are going to make again the popcorn. So remember, five double crochets in the same space of the double crochets of three crochets when we've, once we have the five well we are going to join the first stitch with the last stitch remember we are going to start a hook here we are going to bring them through then one chain to close then three chains single crochet in the next wave three chains and the popcorn stitch and like this is how we are going to continue the whole row. Remember always leaving three chains in between and then making the popcorn with five double crochets. Well, at the end of the row, we are going to slip one to close here at the top of the uh, popcorn. And now we are going to slip until the middle of these chains like this. And right here, we are going to start again the row that we made at the beginning, remember, where we made waves. So we are going to make five chains and make a single crochet right in the middle of the next space. Again, five chains, single crochet right here in the middle of the next space. And like this is how we are going to continue the whole row, okay? So once we are going to make the waves and then in the next row, we are going to make the popcorn stitch. So this is how this series will go. So we are going to continue repeating this series, okay? Well, also it's important that we alternate the popcorn stitch, okay? So we have to take care of that, but the sequence by its own will let us where we are going to put the popcorns, okay? So it's important that we slip to put the popcorns correctly in the uh, space that it goes. Well, as you can see here, I alternate my popcorn stitch and I think that I made the rows that I need, okay? So look how beautiful it looks, right? You see here I put a popcorn, then I alternate and I put them in between the last ones. So well, once that you have the rows that you want, I made in this case three rows of popcorns. Well, we are going to finish with this row. We are going to make again. Um, right here, we are going to make one, two, three, four, five chains, and we are going to make the picot stitch. Remember that the picot is the picot with extended double crochet. Again, three chains, and in between the next space, single crochet. And again, five chains. We are going to come back and in the third we are going to insert our hook and a pick up stitch. Then three chains, insert your hook right in this space in the middle, single crochet. So this is the sequence that we are going to follow, okay? Five chains, then come back, insert your hook and pick up stitch. Three chains, and insert your hook in between the next space and single crochet. But well, we are going to continue like this the whole row and with this row we will finish, okay? I suggest that at the end you hide all your threads and that you don't iron this break because if not, it will, look, it will lose the puff of the stitch, okay? So like this is how we are going to finish and well, now let's see how it looks. 
So, well, what do you think? I hope that you have enjoyed me in this story with me. Remember that I always try to teach you easy and fast forex, but beautiful. I like simple things that you can um, use and reply in many other forex. You can use the same techniques by making other things. Maybe you can make a vest or maybe you can make a poncho for your kids in a smaller size. I always try and encourage you to make your own projects and take these projects as a reference to. Okay, please, if you make this project, take a picture and tag me. I love to see you making um, these projects with me. I really appreciate that you take the time to watch my videos. Okay, it means really so much to me. Well, well, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my Spanish channel too, where I share more projects like this one. And if you like them, I will share them very soon in English. But well, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a like and to leave me a comment. Thank you.